Sub to my channel. Gamer, tech person, and a real vlogger is there. And today I'm gonna play you one of the most it's not one of the most, it's the most realistic and best open world game ever made on iOS and Android. And the name of this game is Car X Street. So they finally released it and uh, I love this game. It's so realistic. It looks like Need for Speed Heat on your smartphone. So this is the main menu and on the top left corner, you can see the settings. So you click on that icon and you come to this page where you can see uh, in the game category, you have speedometer, uh, hide on Android interface. I don't know what the hell is that. Perfect line notification, hint, privacy policy. On controls, you go, you get control types. They didn't add those many tools. They don't have controller support. They don't have steering wheel. They lack that. They don't have a slider, uh, you know, accelerometer. So horizon angle, I'm going to turn that off. Traction control, automatic transmission sensitivity, and linearity. On graphics, you have graphics quality, resolution, radiation, and texture quality, motion blur, and smoke intensity. I've turned all of them to the max. And if you go to the sound, you have music volume, registration, interface volume, effects volume, music volume, obviously on zero. And you only have seven languages. So they're going to add more in the future. Okay, so on the left bottom, you can see the new uh, kind of offers they are giving to people to buy premium cars. They need to make money somehow through the game. So let's go to the city. Okay, so as you can see, I have right now a Civic, I think. And one more thing, if you slide on the screen, you cannot look back and stuff. So I don't really like that thing. I think it's pretty annoying. Okay. And this is camera number, uh, that was camera number one. This was camera number two, camera number three, camera number four, and camera number five, camera number six. One, back to one. There's only five, cam uh, six or five camera modes. As you can see, it looks super, super realistic in my opinion at night time. The only thing that I don't like about this game is, you know, the the textures of trees and other things loading up as you go towards it. It just feels like the game is not optimized as much. Even if I put the render distance on top, when I put the render distance, render distance on top, I mean render everything before I even get there. But it doesn't do that. So right now I'm in Midtown and let's do this race. Okay, so the, the races start like this and let me show you the map if I can open it in a race. Okay, you cannot and this is what I was talking about. Blind. I don't know what it's called. Let's see what is it called. It is called Perfect Line. Okay, and you can also go to screenshot and you know photo mode kind of thing and you can zoom in you can zoom in you can tilt you can adjust the height you can change the logo you can change your angle and just take the screenshot right now i'm doing this race and after the race i'm going to show you how much money i get from one race because there is something that i don't like about this game uh that i'm going to tell you after i complete the race uh, when you go on to the blue line, I mean the perfect line, if you stay on the perfect line, you get bonus. From bonus, you will get more money. So you will get combos. What combos? Speed combos, obviously. But the cars are very slow in this game and they're uh, a lot expensive. And yeah, you cannot get them easily. The one thing, the, uh, the car models in the game, the traffic are kind of... 3D and 2D. When you go close to them, they turn full 3D models with reflections and so many cool other things. But from far away, they're like close to 3D or and 2D also, but low resolution 2D and 3D. I completed the race. 1 minute 27 seconds. 2362 meter race, and look how much money I get. Only 500. So that's what I'm talking about. Right now I have 3000. Let me show you the map right now. Okay, so the map animation is really cool in this game, you know. It's literally like Need for Speed Heat. You just, when you have to go back, like, that is really cool in my opinion.
and there are houses around the map that you can buy uh, repair shops and uh, gas stations because obviously you need to refuel your car in this game as you can see right now my car has a lot of fuel yeah it has a 40 liter tank capacity and right now it's like uh 10 10 to 15 percent like down from full okay so let me take you to the showroom car showroom if you go to the car showroom as you can see this thing costs nine thousand this is a trash car and this costs nine thousand it kind of looks reasonable when you're looking at the car but then let's see if let's see if you want to buy this car which is a pretty nice i'm gonna buy this in future this thing costs forty five thousand dollars and you only get five five hundred dollars per one race so the request i was doing they add more races in the game that give you more money because 500 is not at all enough so that was it i think i don't really need anything else and obviously controller supports and in the graphics they don't have anti-aliasing they don't have bloom they don't have other things that are important to a graphical game because they are targeting targeting the best graphics on the, these platforms so that's about it that's a review of car x street and also the best most realistic game uh in 2023 right now on android and ios bye bye